Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and I want to talk a little bit more about the iPhone and uh, the future of iPhone hacks, meaning the ability to add your own custom programs and applications to the iPhone and now, recently today, to the iPod Touch. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me, you know, what will happen once Apple releases a software update? Is it going to brick my iPhone? Is it going to brick my iPod Touch? Brick meaning that it's going to render the, the device useless in that it will expect one thing and do another and essentially fail to update the device but uh, by doing so it will make it unrepairable. That's what we mean by brick. And um, you know it's, it's a good question and whenever you hack your iPhone you know there's always that possibility you'll see on these pages such as the app tap installer or installer that app and iBricker and other applications uh, iFantastic um, they'll put a disclaimer that says you know if this messes up your phone we're not we're not liable um, because it is beta software it is something that's not covered by Apple's warranty and it could possibly break your iPhone so if you're gonna hack your iPhone keep that in mind that it could mess it up permanently. Now with that risk in mind, you know, when Apple releases software updates, nine times out of ten it's going to break previous hacks to a certain degree. Case in point, Apple has already came out with two firmware updates, 1.01, 1.02, and people are touting 1.1 is going to be around the corner. And uh, due to screenshots which were actually posted by Apple today, um, which showed the firmware 1.1.1 on the iPod Touch. Now, these updates, you know, if you are going to hack your iPhone, what you should do, even between these minor updates, is you, you should flash or restore your iPhone back to factory settings prior to updating either iTunes or even attempting to update your iPhone. You know, get your phone back to the factory state. You know, that requires wiping all your data after you back it up, of course. And restore it and then do the update. That's the safest way. I mean, that's almost a foolproof method for these hacks. Um, so, you know, that's, that's, that's the way to get around that. And that's what I do personally. Now, <clears throat> a new wave of hacks have come about called Software Unlocks. These unlocks allow you to use your iPhone with any GSM carrier. In the United States, we only have two. We have uh, T-Mobile and we have uh, AT&T, Formula Singular. Now, in other countries, such as Canada, I believe they have Rogers. And in Germany, they have T-Mobile Germany. And I think there's O2 in the UK. Uh, a whole bunch of GSM providers around the world, which makes it you know, a smart choice for Apple to pick, since it's pretty much world uh, compatible. Now, these software unlocks were released by a company called iPhone Sim Unlock, I believe that's the name of the company, and they're reselling unlocks to other companies to sell to you for a price, $50, $100, whatever it may be. Now, these companies are promising that these unlocks are pretty much update proof, meaning that if Apple updates the firmware or software, you are still going to have an unlocked phone. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't believe that a software unlock that they're touting, even the free software unlock that they're touting, is going to survive a firmware update. And I have multiple reasons to believe this, but just technically, if they want to, they could change a whole lot about how the software talks to the hardware, and your unlocked phone is not going to be unlocked anymore. So. Think about that before you unlock your phone with one of these people. Um, that is another update that could affect your software. Now I heard from a little birdie, I'm not going to say <laughs> who or why they said this, but I heard that the future iPhone firmware, um, maybe iPod Touch firmware, are going to be encrypted. Meaning that there may not be any ability to hack your iPhone at all without actually getting a custom firmware built from scratch. Um, by encrypting the firmware, this will, this will pretty much prevent any 
you know, any hacker from actually making changes to it because, you know, you have to first crack the encryption and it might be a real-time encryption. Um, so that means no more, <laughs> no more of my favorite Tap Tap Revolution games and no more Summerboard and all these different apps that I've grown to love and Colloquy and, you know, let's say Summerboard and it's just all these tools that I love on here may not be available anymore. So that's what a little birdie told me. So keep this in mind if you're going to hack your iPhone and maybe later your iPod Touch. Software updates will break it to the extent of how they break it and you know whether it's going to be able to be hacked again. We're going to... Oh, that's a cute little kid. <laughs> we're going to have to see if that's the case. So I hope this video helped. Um, I hope you are, you are exercising caution if you're going to hack your iPhone. Because I got a lot of people sending me messages asking about what if this and what if that. You know, could I do this? Could I do that? Just be careful, read, and follow instructions, and you'll be fine. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv saying so long and have a good weekend.